When you stand in this part of the European Parliament, it's always impressive to see visitors groups come by and look at this array of the photographs of former presidents of the Parliament. And of course, this time, we're coming up to an election where people are wondering who is going to be the next face. Is it going to be yet another man? But this time, we have a real choice. It's not a coronation, it's a democratic election. And I want to tell you why I'm standing for election as President of the European Parliament. I believe the European Parliament is an enormously important institution that we can have a really strong voice in the world on issues such as human rights, democracy, solidarity and environmental progress. We can be a clear picture of what the European Union could be. But we also need to be clear that our own house is in order. We need to be more transparent in our working so people understand the legislative process. We need to be more independent to call the Commission to account not to hold its hand in its work. We need to be more inclusive in terms of civil society and really engaging them in a more structured way than we do now. We should be more diverse. We've done some good work in increasing the diversity of those within the Parliament, but we have so much more to do on that. And we also need to show social responsibility in terms of how we treat our own staff. If we're complaining about precarious working contracts for young people across Europe, and quite rightly so, we need to make sure that we are not promoting those same sort of precarious working conditions within our own building. So this is, those are some of the reasons why I'm standing. But I'm also standing because I believe Parliament needs a president who speaks for Parliament, not a single political group or not to push their own ideas ahead of those of the Parliament itself. And I also think it's time that we move to a president who's not seen as part of the Brussels bubble. It's true, I've been in the Parliament a long time. I'm really proud that London has elected me four times as a member of this Parliament. But I still know where the streets are. And I still know how to get out and demonstrate against injustice and for a better European Union. And that's how I want this Parliament to be, a strong voice for the people of Europe. And we are stronger when we work together, when we collectively promote human rights, democracy, environmental progress and solidarity. That, I think, gives us a Europe that people feel works for them and a parliament that is working with the people of Europe.